Welcome back to another Comic-Con 2017 video, where news is still kind of slow out of the gate. Finally, we have Defenders, and of course we have Luke Cage and Iron Fist, and Daredevil all confirmed for new seasons. Jessica Jones was confirmed too, but they're already filming right now, right? So we kind of already knew that season was coming. But now we have this news of Doctor Doom officially confirmed to get his own spinoff. And how horrible is this, right? It's kind of like, okay, Fox, if you can't make a good Fantastic Four movie, don't try giving us a fancy spin-off movie with another character, right? That's exactly what I'm thinking about Venom over at Sony, right? It's like, if you can't give that character over to Marvel for a Spider-Man film, then what the freak are you even doing with this character in the first place? It just doesn't make sense to me. So yes, Doctor Doom is getting his own film, and while I do think it's a horrible idea, there is an upside to it, which we'll get to. Actually, there's a couple of upsides that I think that if they stick to it, this could work, but I'm still so skeptical. Uh, skeptical. I'd have to see an actual teaser to really, really be convinced. And even then, I might not even be that convinced, to be honest with you. But one of my upsides is that the sequence that Doctor Doom had, the short brief one, in Fantastic Four, the reboot, was actually not that bad. It was one of the parts where I just looked at the movie and I was like, ah, oh, interesting, actually pretty cool, to be honest with you, because that movie was so bad. It was a bad film. I hated it so much. But that sequence was like, ah, oh, I liked it, along with the sequence where Ben and Reed were kids, that was also like, oh, I like it too. Like, the whole beginning of the movie is actually pretty uh, tolerable and enjoyable. Uh, but then the rest of it was just, oh my god. And then that Doctor Doom sequence was actually pretty cool too. So that's one upside, is that they could do Doctor Doom that way, and I'd be pretty happy. Now here's a downside, though. Now I'm not really sure if this is a really bad downside or just an okay downside. But Noah Hawley is... Uh, the one who's controlling this is the one who's uh, kind of taking this under his wing, right? He's the one that's making this happen. And Noah Hawley is the showrunner of Fargo, and he also worked on Legion, uh, which we'll get to Legion in a second. But I don't know if I would trust him with a whole Doctor Doom film. I don't know. I mean, maybe it's possible, because I think that, I guess, Fox trusts him to take this on. But for me, I just don't see it, right? I just, it needs to be a bigger director for me. Maybe it's because this movie could be low budget, and maybe that's why they're going with Noah Hawley. And then back to Legion. Dan Stevens is rumored to be attached to this project. And actually, I like Dan Stevens quite a bit. I didn't like Legion at all. When I was watching it, I was like, yep, yeah, this just isn't for me. Sorry, Dan Stevens, but I can't watch the rest. It's just unwatchable for me, right? Some comic book shows are. I, just, I hate Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. I don't like that show. Um, and I'm going to hate Inhumans. I already do hate Inhumans. And it hasn't even come out yet officially, right? So it's just kind of like... Dan Stevens, sorry, but Legion was just unwatchable to me. But I love Dan Stevens, and if he's attached, that's another upside. But overall, I'm not really impressed with this Doctor Doom idea. Again, I had to see an actual teaser. But what do you guys think of the idea? Do you like it? Do you not like it? Comment down below and tell me why or why not. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys later for some more important Comic-Con 2017 coverage. Bye-bye.